Ready to go. Alrighty, guys. Um, look, thanks for joining me on this this show. Uh, it's an interesting show today. Um, it's not really a show. It's more just I uh, had something happen um, that has kind of derailed some of the plans that I had for Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling. Uh, as you may have worked out from the title or the description, the property that I was looking at purchasing uh, that was going to be the dedicated facility for the new Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling training facility and studio uh, the finance for that fell over at the last moment. Um, application went through with the bank. Um, they weren't confident ultimately in considering some of the forms of income that I had uh, that were going to be servicing the loan, even though it was going to be very easily covered, the mortgage repayments, that venue will no longer be happening. So it kind of... Um, <laughs> Like I said, it throws a spatter in the works of what I'm going to do uh, in the immediate future with Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling and the next stage of development. As we all know, the, the purpose of that facility was not only to be a dedicated training facility for Brisbane arm wrestlers, where we could run seminars and coaching and just train, um, but it was also going to be a studio where we were going to host Arm Fights Unleashed tournaments, and it was also going to be a studio where we were going to host a regular Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling show um, that was going to be in my head and my goal of that venue was to bring out ESPN standard digital content talking about arm wrestling. So it means that the money that I had for the deposit for that venue can now be used for different ventures. So in a lot of senses, I'm actually excited by this development because it means that I get to now dream up something new, uh, a new project, a new direction, a new whatever. Um, I've got a few options. I could, I could build a studio here in my home, in my garage that would achieve a very similar outcome. Um, there's also things like I could travel more. Um, I could pay for more travel for other people straight away. Uh, I'm already talking with Marlon Kleinsmith and Sarah Buckman. Um, and those two ladies are going to be coming out to Australia in probably March next year. Um, so it's given me a lot more freedom in, in that sense. Now, a lot of cool things are always going to be happening with the Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling brand. Uh, one thing is for certain, I love this project. And one of the beautiful things about the position I'm in is that I get the ability to turn on a dime. I'm not accountable to anyone. I'm the only owner of the company. Um, so it's very easy for me to change strategy and change direction on a dime. So um, I had the pleasure of talking with the WAL coordinator this morning. Uh, he gave me a call to kind of give me an indication of generally what's going to be happening next year. Now, I can't go and actually tell you what he told me, but what I can say is I am incredibly excited about next year. Um, it's going to be bigger. And it's going to be better than we've ever seen before. And Justin Bishop, if you're watching, oh my goodness, you and I are pretty much a lock, man. Um, I don't know. It's well, I don't know when, but it's <laughs> it's pretty much a guarantee that you and I are going to face. And uh, so, WAL, um, there's going to be lots to come. So, look, just wait for their announcements on what's happening next year. But um, it is very, 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 very exciting, and I can't wait to be part of it. And um, we'll be the strongest version of me you've ever seen. But back to pound for pound, what it means for me. Um, like I said, I get to get back to the drawing board a bit and I get to have fun. Uh, I enjoy spending the money that Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling is making. Um, and the reason I enjoy spending it so much is because it's an experiment, a constant experiment on how to grow the sport. I believe right now, and this is a conversation I had with Devin Larratt a few times, I believe right now with the way digital entertainment is being consumed by the world, um, the likes of YouTube, all that sort of stuff, we're seeing much bigger market share and um, time spent on channel, channels like YouTube. So I definitely believe in that and as an individual um, coordinating it all, YouTube is really a powerful mechanism for me to be able to bring you guys content. So whatever it is that I do through YouTube, uh, highlights on Facebook, Instagram, wherever it may be, my goal is gonna be to bring an ever increasing um, level of content in terms of both production value and uh, entertainment value for what you're going to see. So it might end up being like a private kind of like off out of outside of any league. Uh, you might see me traveling around to different clubs around the world, um, grouping up with different people in an informal sense, but still very cool. Like, I mean, if let's face it, if, um, if I want to know how I want to go against Rostam Babayev, there's nothing stopping me from getting on a plane, flying to the Ukraine, going to Rostam Babayev's club and grouping up with the man and having a semi-informal, yet very interesting match. Um, 
that sort of stuff is a possibility. I think there's a lot of future in that. I feel like there could be heaps of potential for not only pound for pound arm wrestling, but for individual arm wrestlers to take that approach. Once YouTube channels get to a certain size, there's enough revenue that you can afford to do that. Um, so pound for pound arm wrestling is at that point. Um, so I get to travel. I have really good partners here at my gym and my, my club, particularly Lachlan Adair. And I believe also Jordan Davis is showing a lot of that potential as well, where I hope to expand it enough that those guys can continue to travel. I was talking with Sarah Buckman and Marlon Kleinsmith a lot lately. And Sarah, um, she's, she's in that sort of same position as well, where she's trying to work out where she's going to live. And I think that more and more athletes we're going to see are going to be in a position where they can travel with a camera and good editing equipment and and put out this amazing content and um, just kind of tell their own story. So that is my gut feel. Also, um, with the WAL being such a, a, a growing and exciting league, um, I do feel most aligned to the WAL. I am very excited about pulling Zlotti. Um, should I qualify for top eight, that still may be a possibility as well. But if I was, were to end up on a WAL um, Supermatch contract or something like that, this independent YouTube role where I travel and do things casually and train and uh, experience all these other different clubs could be a really viable pathway for me in the future. And it's where my gut feel is at the moment. Um, I love arm wrestling. I love this channel. I love the fact that you guys support it so much and it's enabled me to do so much. Um, even the guys on Facebook, I have a pound for pound supporter group where people can literally, um, pay $7 a week and they, they get, um, a little bit extra. They get live streams and all that sort of stuff when I'm hanging out with different people, but it's you guys that make all of this possible. So I'm eternally grateful for every one of you because it is a, it, it is a dream that I get to call this a career. It's crazy. Um, I get to train every day. I get to eat like an athlete, um, and I get to do what I love. So thank you for that and yeah guys that's it um i do want to apologize to anyone who is really excited about the arm fights unleashed series about to kick off because the plan was to kick that off as soon as this venue was open and ready um obviously that's going to need to be shelved that idea i would love to still work toward establishing a internationally recognized tournament i believe like there's lot to i believe is probably the hardest tournament in the world to win um given the tournaments that are out there at the moment I'd love to establish a tournament like that um, here in Australia. And that might be something that I work on. But that's going to be something that I will have to dream about a little bit more and think about how it could work before I take any active steps to doing it. But regardless, it's a fun journey and the journey has is far from over. And we're going to continue to roll on and bring you bigger and better content on this channel right here. So again, guys, thank you so much. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys again soon. Yes, that's a man!